All right, so I've already done my video saying what I didn't like about the Batman v Superman trailer, and wow, okay, yeah, I've had a whole bunch of people saying that I'm a DC hater now, and I just hate everything with DC, which is kind of confusing, because when I defended the Man of Steel video, everyone said I was a DC fanboy that just blindly loves everything, so apparently I hate everything and love everything at the same time. I don't know, maybe I'm like a Two-Face or something, but anyway, all that aside, now let us talk about some of the good things about this trailer. Let's do it. Number one, the robot voice. Tell me, do you bleed? You will. This is kind of a really clever move for them to do because everyone was wondering what is Ben Affleck's Batman voice going to be like? Because if he just comes out and he's like, I'm Batman. Fear me, Superman. Then everyone's just gonna go, oh, he's doing Christian Bale. But by giving him this voice changer robot thing, it kind of just takes all that out of the equation. So that was a clever way for them to sort of sidestep that whole issue of doing a Christian Bale voice. And I guess it makes more sense because, you know, Christian Bale should have had a little thing just disguising his voice instead of doing the whole throat cancer thing. I do wonder though, like, is that robot voice only when he's in his battle armor suit or does he have it in his other more normal suit? And if so, can he like turn it off when he's talking to people that already know is Bruce Wayne like in Justice League if he's talking to people is he gonna have that robot voice all the time if he's in costume I hope not because that could kind of get annoying so it'll be interesting to see and hey like Mr. Sunday Movie said in his video Superman could just laser vision the mouth hole in his mask it's pretty exposed right now shoot him in the mouth shoot him in the mouth number two this bit where this guy gets blown up <laughs> I love that. It, it looks like he's getting blown up by the Batwing, but there's also the tumbler on the ground, so I don't know if Batman's flying that plane, or he's fighting that plane, or maybe Kerry Kelly is flying that plane, or whatever, but I'm hoping the Batman is flying that plane that he just murdered these thugs, because that'd be fantastic. Because after all of people criticizing Superman for snapping Zod's neck, to then turn around and have Batman just murder a whole bunch of thugs. <laughs> That'd be great. I would love that. It would just sort of even the playing field a bit. Number three. I love this line here from Jeremy Irons. The fever. The rage. The feeling of powerlessness. That turns good men. Cruel. Now, we can only guess as to whether he's talking directly to Bruce, as it kind of implies that he is because it shows the picture of Bruce, or whether maybe he's just talking about Lex Luthor in why Lex Luthor is going after Superman, blah, blah, blah. But if he's talking to Bruce, that is really interesting because basically what he's saying to Bruce here is if you decide to do this, if you decide to go after Superman just because you feel powerless, that's a really dangerous road to go down. He's telling him if you do that, you could change into something that you would wouldn't like you could become a cruel person which I hope is the case because then it shows me that it's not just Batman's the hero and Superman's the villain and he's gonna take him down it shows that Batman is also kind of out of line here and particularly with that line that he says at the end where he says do you bleed you will that kind of does have a cruelness to it so that might actually be Batman's arc over the course of this story as he starts out going after Batman because he feels he needs to restore this balance of power and over the course of it he transforms into something he kind of doesn't like. Yeah, see now that's, that's interesting to me. I hope that's the case. So I hope you enjoyed this, all of those of you who liked the Batman <laughs> the Superman trailer. If you didn't like it, feel free to click on the video where I sarcastically explain all the stuff that I didn't like in this trailer. So choose your own adventure, go which way you want. I am Bandit, this is Bandit Incorporated, and until next time, I will see you guys in the comments.